my name is Susie McCabe and I am a stand-up comedian. This year my show is Born Believer and it is my fourth year at the French. So I had a big birthday uh, and I realised that I'm old and now I'm at a point having lived through the past two years, losing your livelihood, everything like that, I'm going, actually if you can come through that you can come through anything and I'm quite a glass is half empty person and I'm now trying to be glass is half full and Born Believer is about the story of me trying to get to glass is half full. I, I talk about this in the show where we're about to go into a very long difficult period and those who are struggling just now are, are really going to struggle and you know, I remember Martin Lewis, the money guy, used to tell you where to get a two-for-one cinema ticket and a pizza. And now he's like, here's how to survive. So I, I talk a little bit about that in the show and how growing up in a time that was similar to this, it really resonates with you. And it's not until you're a fully functioning adult that you can take that on and then compartmentalise it and deal with it. You know, we are bombarded with really bad news and and you can't control that because that's just the news but what you can do is try and flip it and go I know all this is going on but there's also this and there's also these people so let's let's not lose hope that's your job as a comedian you either look at something that's really wonderful and hearts and rainbows and feel then they see the negative in it or you look at the negative and you see the positive and you provide a social commentary and that's your job I've learned to love the French. Uh, it's just that total Glasgow chip on your shoulder. You're like, I rate you are Edinburgh, calm down. You kind of walk about and yeah, it's busy. Yeah, there's loads of silent discos. Yes, you've got 300 flyers in your pocket. But it's the biggest arts festival in the world and it's our arts festival. So I've, I've learned to love it and really appreciate it. When you're doing a gig in Edinburgh, it's always a little bit more international, whereas, you know, Glasgow and anywhere else in Scotland tends to be that that city and then the general conurbation around it. When you come to the Fringe, though, it's, it's a real global audience, but people will absolutely accept your accent and stuff because they will then go and see an Aussie and then they'll go and see someone who's very posh English or Northern English. So they're almost like, oh, that's okay if you say the word house instead of house, you know. There's still times where I need to pinch myself, like where I've supported Jason Manford, I've supported John Bishop, and then I got to sell out my show at the King's Theatre, and even then, I still can't believe that that actually happened. So, no, to be back in Edinburgh, 195 seater and your fourth fringe it, it's remarkable i do still pinch myself and i do still go it is the greatest job in the world the greatest